Here are a bunch of the best outfits and secret lightsabers and blasters you can find laying around in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Leave your favorite outfit and any extra tips for Jedi Survivor that you have down in the comments. The Commander outfit is probably one of the best looking outfits in the game and one that I've seen a lot of you guys curious about how to get, so we'll go over how to get the Commander outfit, jacket, shirt, pants, and colors for all of them. So first just head over to this meditation point over in Jeddah, the Anchorite base. From that meditation point, take an immediate left and head all the way straight down the path, past those mounts that you can ride on, and jump over the little gap here, and then hop onto the little ledge, which brings you over to the crate, which contains the commander jacket. Probably one of the best looking jackets in Jedi Survivor. Now still in Jeddah, we're going to go over to the meditation point at the Arid Flats. You should already have come to this in the story, you should have this meditation point unlocked assuming you at least sat at it, and you might have already opened up this crate as well since it's literally right beside the meditation point, but from there just take a right from that meditation point and you'll find the commander pants inside of that crate. Now for the shirt, we're going to go over to the main settlement in Kobo, over at the Domo's outpost shop where you can purchase the commander shirt for three priorite shards. The colors for the commander pants and jacket can be found over in Kobo around the same location. For both of them, we're going to be way down at the hangar rafters meditation point. Once you get here, just look straight up. You will need to go through the story until you unlock the little BD-1 stun ability. That way you can shock this fuse that opens up the door to the upper right hand portion of this section and just jump up there to grab the colors for the pants. Now for the jacket colors from that same meditation point, we're going to take a right and head through this door that you needed to unlock for the shortcut. If you don't have that unlocked, you'll just need to loop around. It really doesn't take that long, just look at the map. Then you're going to jump over onto the blue wall, run along through the green window, which you also need to progress through the story until you can dash through the green window on PlayStation. You just press circle, where then you'll need to progress a bit further, running on some more walls, until you get to the very end where you'll find four droids lined up, and then the crate right behind them. This is where you'll find the commander jacket colors. So now we're going to get the Jedi robes. The, the Jedi robes are definitely one of the cooler outfits you can get in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. It's got the cool white variant, or if you want to be a dark Jedi, it also has the black variant. And for that, we're going to head over to the planet called Jeddah. We're going to go for the Crypt of Irma meditation point, and from that meditation point, we're just going to take a right, head down the path here where you'll find a couple of stormtroopers. You might want to defeat them, otherwise you won't be able to open the crate. Just run along these stairs and hop over to run alongside the wall, and into a little cubby hole, you'll find a secret chest. This chest contains the Jedi robes. Again, they're really cool looking, they have a bunch of different colors. Probably the coolest one though is the black. And by the way, this outfit comes with both the jacket and the pants. It comes with the complete outfit, so all you have to do is go into your inventory and equip both of those. You can get the poncho, which you may remember from Fallen Order as it was like the only outfit in the game, and you can unlock it very early on in the game as a reward for beating a secret boss hidden in Kobo. We'll actually be heading right down the road from the main outpost in Kobo with the cantina over to Fort Collin. A very good place to farm XP if you saw my last video. From the meditation point, you can just hit the little grapple point that's nearby onto this mini fortress that contains a few walkways you have to traverse through past some enemies waiting to ambush you in a corner and straight on through to a bridge. There are a bunch of droids here that you can take out quickly with your blaster, just don't step onto these sliding doors yet. Once you step on those, you will be placed into a boss fight area with the spawn of Ogdo. This is a very difficult boss fight, at least on the higher difficulties, especially early on. And if you die, you won't be able to obtain your XP again until you defeat that boss. So if you fall down there, be prepared for a fight. I highly recommend force pulling both of the hammer wielding enemies from up top onto the doors and then hop inside with them so that they can assist you with defeating Ogdo. This makes the entire boss fight way easier because they'll be distracted with each other. I would also recommend hopping over his tongue attack. Once you defeat the spawn of Ogdo, you can go ahead and grab the chest over in the corner which contains the poncho. The mullet, the most canon hairstyle for Cal, can be found extremely early on in the game as well. All you need to do is fast travel over to the derelict dam meditation point in Kobo, or just make it here by following the story where you will be brought to this tar pit. You can hop straight through under the bridge 
or hop along the platforms that are in the middle of the tar pit. There are multiple ways to do this, I just go under the bridge. It's much easier if you also have the dash ability, but it's not really necessary. Hop across and climb along the rails that you can traverse along to find a priorite shard, and then continuing on to your right hand side, hopping onto another platform and up towards the wall will lead you to a chest containing the mullet. The Skeleton Key Blaster is a really sick variant for your blaster, and you can get the complete blaster pretty early on in the game by traveling to Jeddah. The story will bring you here within the first couple of chapters, specifically to this starting area here at the Monastery Walls, where you have that dune worm trying to chase you through the sand. Just avoid him and run over, hopping around from each platform in the sand, onto the walkway where you can force push the door open, and just quickly run along inside. Over on your right hand side you'll see some stairs, which you can run up, and then coming around the staircase you'll find a grapple point onto a wall that you can wall run onto, but instead you don't want to wall run all the way across, you want to try to hop up onto the building, and I was struggling here a bit, but you just want to hop up again onto this other section of the ruins, and you'll find a secret chest on top. This contains the Skeleton Key Blaster, again in one of those like secret chests. And then this is the actual official location of the Skeleton Key Blaster. If you want the awesome Eno Cordova secret lightsaber that you get as a reward, which you can easily miss in the game because the game doesn't really tell you about the things that you have to do to get it, rather you just have to be exploring around as it's from an unmarked side quest. There are three different steps to unlocking this lightsaber, the first being the Path of Restoration, found over here on the map in Jeddah. I'm not going to talk over this puzzle because I don't think I can really add anything to it, just follow what I do here. That way you can complete the first step to grabbing the lightsaber. So once you defeat all the enemies in this final section, just push the ball down the lane. It'll reveal a secret passage on our right hand side, which will be an extra perk slot. Something that's really good to have. For the next section, we're going to be completing the Path of Persistence, just a bit across the map here from where we just were. Try this. 
Again, once you get up to the top of the mountain here, push the ball down, and another extra perk slot will be revealed. Now we're going to travel straight across from that one to complete the Path of Conviction. This is right next to the Arid Flats Meditation Point. Once you get there, you will need the grapple hook that you get from the story to hop onto this flying drone. You can hop across, defeat these stormtroopers and the enemies that are around, and this puzzle is one of the only ones that is timed. Pull this orb, quickly jump across to the other drone, and then hop over to your left hand side, where you can push that orb to the other side, hop back across where you just came from, and pull that one towards you. Now we're going to hop on the drone once again, except this time we're hopping over to the right because now we just started another timer. So we're doing this as quickly as possible. We're going to pull that orb and then quickly hop down to the other one that we can push and then quickly look over to your left hand side, grapple onto the drone and hop off to the right hand side where you'll see that orb moving up to the next level. And then as soon as you hop across, force push that marble up towards the top of the mountain. Now you can turn around and climb up to the top of the mountain where you will push the next marble Again, revealing a perk slot, and then we will go grab the lightsaber. Okay, so now you have pushed down the final marble, and a temple has been revealed in the center of the arid flats. From the Arid Flats Meditation Point, just go right over here. You can try to follow my path here if you don't know how to get to the top of the temple. It is kind of tricky, but if you look at the map, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is climb up, and then in the center of the temple, just stand on top of the rock, which is actually an elevator down to the bottom of the temple, where another one of those secret chests will be revealed, revealing the Eno Cordova lightsaber. This gives you every piece of the lightsaber, you just need to go over to your workbench and equip each one. In this same room is also a map upgrade to reveal every treasure on the map. Priorite shards, Jedi scrolls, and data disks. There are also two other map upgrades in Star Wars Jedi Survivor that you can use to reveal pretty much everything. But that's it, leave a like and subscribe for more Star Wars Jedi Survivor videos. See ya.